So we had the opportunity to present our work today at the American Neurological Association meeting in Boston. We uh, were interested in looking at men that had metastatic disease of prostate cancer at the time of diagnosis. We know from a couple of trials over the last couple of years, we've had two randomized studies looking at uh, men that get chemotherapy up front and they do better in terms of overall survival compared to men that didn't get chemotherapy. So in, t in taking with that, uh, that direction, we basically looked at the SEER database from 2010 to 2013. We identified 8,040 patients that had bone metastasis at the time of diagnosis. And then we wanted to see what were the predictors in terms of demographics, clinical pathological factors that would suggest early mortality in these patients. So we did a competing risks analysis and some of the more common variables that you would expect included age, PSA, more aggressive biopsy score, and then subsequently more advanced visceral disease. What's most interesting though is that we did find that men that were unmarried were more likely to die early, as well as men that were in the southeast compared to other regions of the U.S. Probably the most interesting part of the project is the subgroup analysis where we looked at building a model to sort of add visceral metastasis to the patients with bone metastasis. When we compared patients with lung and liver and bone metastasis, this, these patients had a three times greater hazard ratio compared to patients that only had bone uh, metastasis. So I think in conclusion, we've sort of validated the randomized trials that we've had in the last couple of years that men that do show up with bad disease typically do need to have chemotherapy up front or enroll in clinical trials. There's some limitations of the study in terms of we don't have um, granular data to see what exactly the type of chemotherapy is, but certainly this brings awareness to the fact that these men do better if they get treated up front.